Hi everybody, this is Dr. Mady. I'm hoping to visit with each of you regarding nutrition in UR310. Um, you'll see my screen, hopefully. Um, everybody can see my screen once you log in on your computer, you'll be able to see my screen. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just talk until I get some um, participants. But in the meantime, uh, look through your course. Uh, make sure that you click in your announcement section, uh, just as I have. The announcements you will find are very, very important. Um, I would look at these daily, if not every other day. Um, so down here, we're welcoming you to week one, uh, and then how to get a hold of me, and then um, what does nutrition entail, and then your scholarly list of credible websites, and then, of course, where you can find this conference, and then attendance reminder. So I would ask that you look at your announcements at least, if not daily, every other day. Uh, the other things that you can look at would be your syllabus. So we'll again go to your syllabus. Uh, this has my contact information, my office hours. Now, although uh, my office hours are posted Mondays and Tuesdays from 11 to 1, I am very flexible. Uh, I utilize text message quite frequently. So please let me know when you if you text me who you are so I can address you by name. But I'm very open to email. I'm very open to text. I'd rather have you reach out to me instead of um, increasing your anxiety, uh, wondering the answer to a question. Um, and then you can find my uh, email, course description, uh, the books that you'll need for this course, uh, IT support, and then just some general policies. You all are aware of the late work uh, policy. I would read up on that. And then your assignments. So we have discussions in week one through seven uh, and two discussion questions. And then in week eight, we just have one. We have quizzes in weeks one through five and seven. We have three major assignments. We have a table, which is a holistic nutritional assessment where you will do an assessment on a person of your choice, maybe one of your clinical patients, maybe a spouse, maybe a child, but this is a table format, not a paper format. And then we will have uh, the ATI, online practice and remediation in week six. And then your final project will be a PowerPoint nutritional health plan in week seven. So we have no papers. We have a table. We have an ATI uh, reme online practice and remediation. And then we have your PowerPoint. Uh, looking through, here's your course outline. I would um, utilize this for your time management to know what is uh, expected of you for your readings and then what is expected in each week. So we do have quizzes and then three major assignments. So if you want to go to your modules tab, here is where uh, each week you'll find. And so course tools, questions to your instructor. If you have a major question regarding a, a generalized question, I would have you ask it uh, in this venue, just in case another student might have another question. If it's more uh, personal, please email me or text me. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one call um, to visit about it. Uh, course tools, you have resources. You have your APA template and a sample paper, uh, and then turn it in instructions. And then each week, we'll have your, what is expected of you each week. Uh, so each, each week, you just click on here and do what's expected of you. So your first assignment, uh, which is your holistic nutritional assessment table, is not due until week five. Although, it is not due for a little while. I would ask you to look into it and reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, don't wait till the last minute. Um, I try to take Saturdays completely off. Otherwise, I'm available Monday through Friday and then Sunday. But 
your assignments are due by um, 11.59 p.m. on Sundays. And so don't wait until 9 p.m. to ask me because that's, that's kind of late and it doesn't give me enough time to give you appropriate feedback. Um, some of the other areas. So if you go to your Pages tab, this is where you will find your resources. Okay, so here's your catalog and handbook, uh, technical support, Canvas help, now library resources. Here is your online librarian if you're having trouble finding a scholarly article. You definitely can reach out to Dr. Sharon Argove. And then here are your uh, library databases. Uh, APA writing help here again. Uh, this is where we have uh, videos regarding APA formatting. Uh, and then of course your APA manual 6th edition. Uh, how to access Office 365, that's free to you. And so this is where you get Word and PowerPoint. Uh, and so make sure that you download the free 365 and utilize it to um, do any Word documents that you need to do or any PowerPoints. Um, let's see, the one I wanted to hit on is your approved list of scholarly resources. Let's see, where did that go? That used to be here. Okay, so it's kind of embedded throughout. So um, these links here um, are appropriately to use for uh, PowerPoint or for um, scholarly resources like your .orgs. Uh, now, if you come further down, you will see do not use these websites. So wikipedia.org is not scholarly, any form of the dictionary. Anytime you have a blog, um, usually web pages that end in .com are not scholarly, although there are a few. But if you have any questions, I would ask that you reach out and ask. And then uh, your weekly lectures are not uh, scholarly uh, at all. If you want to use something within the lecture, let's look at an example. So we'll go to this week's lecture. Here's your lecture and your readings. So you, you read through your lecture and you see where this one here is Dudek 2018. Of course, that's your textbook that you would reference. Uh, now here is a live link. If you click in there, here is your live link. This is where you retrieved it from. Okay. Uh, and then the other thing is, let's look at the very, very bottom. Now these re references, you can utilize these references. Do not reference your lecture. Reference the resources found within your lecture. Okay. So here is where that USDA.gov was retrieved. Uh, Geb Hart and Thomas know that each of these references are in APA, correct APA formatting. So go ahead and copy and paste into your assignments or into discussion. Uh, instead of reinventing the wheel when we have a discussion post due, utilize these references they are already in APA formatting, so just copy and paste into your uh, discussion and then go ahead and appropriately cite it within your discussion. Uh, of course, always using the textbook is the best thing to use. Um, you guys have paid for them. They are scholarly. Each lecture utilizes the textbook, so go ahead and, and utilize that as well. Um, and it's, again, uh, already written in a correct APA formatting. So uh, other things you can do if you click in quizzes. Here is where you'll find quizzes 1, 3, 4, and 7. But you have quizzes in weeks 2 as well. And so those these quizzes here 
uh, when you click in, it'll actually bring up questions. You can see here where there's different questions. Now, if you want to find your other quizzes, go back to your modules. So I know we have a quiz in week two. So if we click in the module two quiz, that'll bring you up to a crossword puzzle. So not all quizzes are found within the quizzes tab. I would uh, access each of your quizzes within your modules tab. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? Here is your library, your LIRN library. It already has the password put in for you. It already has everything. And so I would uh, recommend that you click here. So if you want to find a scholarly article, I usually go into health and medical. The one resource or the database uh, I truly try to use is ProQuest. And the reason for that is you can search, uh, let's see, let's research uh, something that's not going to give us millions and millions of um, references. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, preschool nutrition. Let's see how many references that brings up. 64,000 and you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot. But let's go ahead and use our filters. So what I do is on the left hand side, limit to, I click full text. And that takes a little bit to refresh, give it time. So now you're down to 55,000. Next thing I click is peer reviewed because those are your scholarly uh, articles. Brings us down to 20,000. The next thing is click on scholarly journals under source type. And you'll see the little um, graduation cap icon. This is your go-to to know that everything that you're looking at is scholarly. The other thing is we usually try to do within that five-year time frame. So under publication date, you slide this little gray button over and then update. Give it a second. So from 2010 to 2019, but I need it within that five-year time frame. So I'm going to do it again until I get to 2014 and then update. So now we're down to 7,000 results. And then here is where you can start at the top and you can just look at one that you feel would be appropriate. So let's look at this uh, first one, analysis of nutrition of preschool age. So let's read through it and you say, yes, I really like that. If you look under the download PDF under site, click on site and here is your citation. It is done for you. All you do is copy and paste. It is done for you. So very, very easy to use. It uh, doesn't take much time at all. The other thing I recommend for students would be to download. Anytime you are using a piece of research to help answer a discussion or create a project, always download it because you can use it in your future nursing courses. Keep a folder. Um, instead of having to re-find each of these, um, you know, if if you remember doing a discussion on this subject and then two semesters later you're like oh my gosh I remember that article it gave me so much information where is it now you don't have to refine it you just go into your folders and find it so I would um, it's, it's always a good rule of thumb to do that okay so there's the library um, other than that I would ask that you look through each of your assignments. So in weeks five, you've, you've got a table assignment. In week six, you've got your ATI practice and remediation. And then in week seven, you've got your PowerPoint presentation. Look through each assignment, write down any questions you have, call me, text me, email me, and I definitely will um, clarify any uh, muddy points you have. Now if you uh, have looked through this video and you uh, reach out to me asking for an example of each assignment, 
I definitely will send you that um, only uh, after you reach out to me. So um, let's see, I guess for me, I guess that would be it. Um, I don't see any other participants. So um, I will give you back your time and just know that this link will be, I will post this link uh, just as soon as it uploads. I have to, it downloads and then I upload it to YouTube and then I send you out the link. So um, after watching this video, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.